Hey everyone, I'm Travis Spivey, join my son, Jordan Spivey, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you miss it on any of our awesome science videos. Also, scan the QR code at the top left corner of the screen to contact us and explore more of our awesome content and material. In today's video, we will cover factors that affect the strength of electric and magnetic forces by understanding how electromagnets work. So, so let's, let's do, do this. Our learning targets for today are Number one, I can describe and explain how electromagnets work and number two, I can describe and explain the factors that affect the strength of electric and magnetic forces. Let's first start off by explaining what an electromagnet is and how it's made. An electromagnet is a temporary magnet made by winding wire around an iron core. When the electric current flows in the coil of wire, the iron becomes a magnet which creates a magnetic field around it. And when the current is turned off, it loses its magnetic properties. Electromagnets can be easily created by wrapping a wire around an iron nail and attaching each end of the wire coils to a battery. The battery runs electric current through the wire. The electric field in the wire coil creates a magnetic field around the nail. In some cases, the nail will remain magnetized even when removed from within the wire coil. The combined magnetic force of the magnetized wire coil and iron bar makes an electromagnet very strong. One of the pros of an electromagnet is the ability to control them by controlling the electric current. When the electromagnet is on, you can pick up other magnetic items. When you remove one of the coils from the battery or voltage source, the electromagnet turns off losing its magnetic properties. Now let's talk about the factors that affect the strength of electric and magnetic forces and electromagnets. These four factors are the number of loops, the metal core, the battery size, and wire size. Let's start with the number of loops. One way to increase or decrease the strength of the magnetic field of an electromagnet is to change the number of loops in the coil. The more loops you add, the stronger the magnetic field will become. The more loops you remove, the weaker the magnetic field will become. The metal core can play a large factor as well. The metal inside the coil magnifies the field created by it. Changing the metal core for a different metal will make the electromagnet stronger or weaker. Iron cores make for very strong fields. Steel cores make weaker fields. Neodymium cores make the strongest fields. Sliding the core partially out of the coil will weaken the field because less of the metal is within it. Increasing or decreasing the size of the metal core will also play a huge role in affecting the strength of the electromagnet as well. The size or amount of battery current is important as well. Changing the amount of current flowing through the electromagnet will also change the magnetic field it produces. The greater the current in the coil, the stronger the magnetic field will grow. Conversely, lowering the battery voltage decreases the current, weakening the field. This fact has a compilation. However, when you increase the current, the magnet wires get hotter and possibly fry the delicate electrical insulation without which the magnet cannot work. So be careful not to add too much voltage to an electromagnet because it can cause it to overheat, burn your hands, and stop its overall functioning. Lastly, wire size. Although metal wires are very efficient conductors of electricity, they still have some resistance to the flow of current. Resistance means to go against or resist something, kind of like a baby resisting the urge to go to sleep. Especially when you have to put them to sleep at nighttime, they just don't want to go to sleep. Anyway, using large gauges of wire on the coil will decrease this innate resistance to the flow of electric current through the wire. This is largely because there is more room for electric current to flow in a larger gauge wire. This will increase the electrical current and therefore the magnetic field. Using smaller gauge wire will increase the resistance of allowing electric current to flow through it because there is less room for electric current to flow. This will reduce the electrical current and weaken the magnetic field. Using different types of metal will also affect the field strength because every metal has a different inherent resistance to electrical current. Interestingly enough, just like these four factors can increase and decrease the strength of an electromagnet, the same can be said for generators and motors. The strength of a motor can be increased in the following three ways. Number one, using a soft iron core. The soft iron core becomes magnetized and increases the strength of the magnetic field. This makes the motor more powerful. Number two, increasing the number of turns of the insulated copper wire. Number three, by increasing the strength of the current in the motor. The strength of a generator can be increased in the following ways. Number one, the faster the coil rotates, the faster it will cut the magnetic field and the bigger the output voltage will be. 
Number two, you could increase the output voltage of a generator by rotating it faster. And number three, you could increase the number of turns of the coil. And number four, you could use stronger magnets. Quick check for understanding. First, what are two ways you can increase the strength of electromagnets, motors, and generators? And second, what are two ways you can decrease the strength of electromagnets, motors, and generators? Take five minutes to answer, pause the video, you got this. And that's our video for today. Now it's session off to see how proficient you are with describing and explaining factors that affect the strength of electric and magnetic forces by taking our video quiz. Use your electronic device to scan the QR code at the top right of the screen, or you can click the link in the description box below the video to take the quiz. Remember, 80% are higher for proficiency. Record your associate proficiency sheet. And if you don't get it the first time, you, you better, better keep, keep going, going because it's not over until you, you win. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click that bell icon, and also scan this QR code to contact us and explore more of our awesome content and material. Peace, Peace and have a positive, productive day. Ungubani, Indingu, and Jadaka. I found my daddy with panther claws in his chest. You ain't the son of a king, you a son of a murderer. Hey, auntie.